This morning we are finding some spring cooking inspiration from Southeast Asia where sweet and sour meat for a party on your plate. <laughs> the chef and owner of Pig and Cow on Manhattan's Lower East Side is here with some beautiful and delicious dishes you can make at home. Chef Leah Cohen, thank you for joining us. Yes, thank you for having me. So you're from New York. Yes. But you got your inspiration in Asia. Yeah, I actually spent a year traveling abroad in Southeast Asia um, just like knocking on restaurant doors being like, hi, can I work for you for free? <laughs> oh, nice. And they were like, ah, oh, some were like, yes. Yeah, and some are like, no, this is weird. Uh, <laughs> so yeah, today I'm going to be making a grilled pineapple salad mm. with shrimp and pickled cucumbers. It's really nice and light for the spring and summer. It's a new dish that we put on the restaurant at Pig and Cow. So first we're going to start with the shrimp. Okay. These have already been poached. Um, you can get them from your fishmonger, peeled and deveined, and then you just poach them in so you get boiling water, put them in, and then turn the water off. So a lot of times people boil their shrimp which makes it really tough and overcooked. Um, so this way we're poaching them. So, so, wait, really so as nice. soon as you put it in there after it's boiling, you just turn, turn it the flame turn it off. off. Yeah, okay. exactly. Take it out and then put it in ice water, shock it, and it'll stop cooking. Wow. So this has been cooked, um, and then I just pulled the tail off, and then we're going to slice it really thinly like mm -hmm. that. So um, we have a bunch already done, and then we have a red onion, which we're going to slice really thin for the salad as well. And then the main thing that we're going to do is um, we are going to grill the pineapple. Mm. So one thing is sometimes you can't always get super ripe pineapple, so a good way to make the flavor stronger is to grill it. Since there's so many sugar, so much sugar in there, it really concentrates the sugar. And people are scared. <laughs> yeah, I was going to say, it's, it's, away, like, a it's little bit. not that scary um, to cut a pineapple, but you can always buy it pre-cut and right. cleaned at a supermarket. And so what is your tip for people at home if they are cutting it themselves? Obviously, you have a really good knife. So Number have one. a sharp knife, um, and then when when you want to pick like a ripe pineapple, mm -hmm. you always smell it. Ah. So if it really is strong in flavor uh, or in smell, then it's usually ripe. And um, so we're just going to cut the top and the bottom off and then just cut down the side. So it's it's really not that scary. <laughs> no, it's, it's not. She makes it's it look so easy. easy. Yes. <laughs> um, but yes, having a sharp knife is key. And then, so, and this is all garbage. Mm -hmm. And you want to be um, mindful of the core in the the inner part of the pineapple. It is very fibrous, so we're just going to cut around that. Um, but I have some that I have already <laughs> nice. cut. And then we're going to lightly oil the pineapple. Because there is a lot of sugar, mm -hmm. you don't want it to stick when you grill it. Any kind of oil that you like using on this? Um, a neutral flavored oil, canola oil, mm -hmm. grapeseed oil, anything like that. And you want to have a hot grill. And how long do you cook it for on each side? Yeah, on each side you cook it for about two to three minutes, depending on how thick it is. Um, and you want to cut it pretty thick because you still you don't want to cook it all the way through. Right. So, um, and then we're going to make the salad dressing. So, salad dressing is pretty simple. It's lime juice. Sugar. Looks like a lot of sugar, but we use a very small amount. Um, this is scallion oil that we make. If you don't want to make scallion oil, you can definitely um, buy scallion oil, or you can just use a neutral flavored oil. Okay. That is fish sauce. That is like fish liquid. sauce. Yeah, liquid all of gold. It? Yeah, all of it. <laughs> Seems like a lot. <laughs> and then some garlic. Minced garlic and fresh uh, red Thai chilies. And that's it. And you just whisk it until the sugars dissolve and then um, it's ready to go. And you can keep this in the refrigerator for about a week. And you can use it for any salad you want, not just for this salad. Sounds delicious. Yeah. Okay, so then if you want to help me put together sure. the dish. So we have the pickled cucumbers over okay. here. Um, you can just add all of that. Mm -hmm. And then we have um, the shrimp. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And we have the grilled pineapple. Oh, so this is what it looks like yeah. when it's done. So we slice it nice uh -huh. and thin, like that. And then um, we have the peanuts as well. These are whole peanuts. And then we're going to have some cilantro that you just want to rip. And then some mint that you just want to rip. And then the red onions. 
And then you can pour a little bit of the dressing on top and mix that up. And what is this, guy? Uh, so that is fried garlic. Is that at the end? Or? Yeah. Okay. So we're going to okay. garnish it with it. So okay. this is some of the dressing already made. Oh, there you go. I had it. this whole yeah. big thing here. You already have it nicely there. Yeah. All right, we have a few more seconds okay. left. So and when you're done with this, up. here we go. And then we're going to garnish it with the, yeah, with the crispy shallots. Mm-hmm. And the coconut flakes. Oh, I wish everyone could smell this. Yeah. I know, it does smell delicious. And then the garlic chips. So we have a finished one already here that you guys can try. Oh, yes. <laughs> and then we have some other dishes from the restaurant that I brought with us. Um, this is a cow soy. This mm -hmm. is a curry noodle dish. This is our most popular dish at the restaurant. And then we have our baby back ribs. And then we have a papaya salad with grilled chicken. As yeah. we taste yeah. this. Yeah. <laughs>